Hi guys! Hello! Oh, we already see that we got some comments. Hello, hello, and welcome to our second live stream. Our second ever live stream here from Hobi. Very excited and I'm actually still a little nervous, I can feel. <laughs> I think it's not going to go away very fast. I mean, we're still getting used to this. So, yeah. um, but let us know if you can see us and hear us. Because if you can't, then, you know. I think we already mentioned before that we're not very, very good with uh, Hello, tech Sylvia. stuff. Hello, Sylvia. We have a little delay on our chat. Yeah. So... Hi, March. Hi, March. And hi, Lori. From Idaho. From hi. Idaho. Hello. And from the USA. Hi, Judy. Hi. Oh, this is so sweet. Yeah, just go ahead and say hi in the chat so we know if you guys can... And uh, from Denmark. Oh, hello. <laughs> you can hear us. Hi, Lenor. And Edwina. Hello what from a Canada. What beautiful name. I know, I love Edwina. it. Edwina. Edwina. Mm, oh, my God. Very elegant. Beautiful. So you can hear us and see us, right? Aww. Oh, that's my Hi, mom! Nita, is it? Oh my god, you're lucky! Hi, Hi Nita. Nita. <laughs> Aww. Aww. And from... from the Netherlands. Oh, oh my god, god, we have people joining like, basically almost worldwide. Oh, that's so special. We have our little coffees. Always wait. Cheers. You can't really see my oh. mug, but my mug is very St. <laughs> Valentine's indeed. Oh yeah, and if you didn't notice, we were very coordinated in, in pink yeah. Valentine's colors. <laughs> For our Aww. date, bonjour. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Virginia. Hey, Ke. hello, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so sweet to know that so, so many of you are joining. Hi from Michigan, says Elaine. So, um, I actually, while you guys are just uh, joining us now, I want to welcome you to the coziest date ever. Of the year, at least. Well, at, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, it's a little pre- um, Valentine's Day just for hanging out and crocheting mm -hmm. and knitting together and yeah. we have really been looking forward to this day right especially <laughs> sharing all the ideas we have for mm. St. Valentine's well there's not a lot of ideas but yeah, yeah. quite enough if you want you know if yeah. you're looking to make some gifts and some presents yeah and yeah some personal stories and most yeah. <laughs> especially our crush for yarn our yeah, actually crush. our like the whole relationship how it started and why we love it and so we are hoping that you guys share the same passion for yarn as us oh, oh my god you have so, so many, many here so many are joining in from argentina from norway wow. hi may hi gabriella hi lisa hi missy hi patricia just keep on chatting and eventually hopefully we'll catch all the comments because it is a little bit delayed so exactly I see we got a really beautiful comment here saying that we look lovely today. So oh, thank you thank so much. You. We tried. We tried really hard. <laughs> yes. so, so yes, yes, yes. Oh my yes. God. So what is, you know, in schedule for today? Yeah. Let's sum it up. Yeah. So as I was saying before, we are basically just here to hang out with you guys to knit and crochet together, working on our Valentine's projects or other projects that you might been, you know, Working Started, on, yeah. yeah, or working on. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be sharing some ideas and some personal stories. And so for you as a, a viewer here, you can just sit back and relax and mm -hmm. um, work on your project and... Whatever project it is. Yeah. It doesn't have to be for St. Valentine's. No, not at all. Just, not at all. Just let's just chat and relax and, you know, yeah, get inspired from each other, you know, exactly. get a conversation going. Exactly. Oh so. my god, look at all of those. I know. And also, if you, if any of you watched the last time, we had kind of an issue with me having the chat you know, yeah, in, it was my in her face. So this way, I pulled Lena a little yeah. bit closer to me. So this is why we're kind of like, you know, because yeah. we want to give you a chance so you can see your comments down there. <laughs> and as always, I'm sitting down because I'm super tall compared to Gia. I'm so small. So I'll try not to uh, fall down the yeah, chair I'm today. I'm actually standing up. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> Okay. Aww. People are so, saying that we look pretty. Thank you. Oh my god, what a what a Friday it is. Right. Ooh. Okay, so what are you working on? Let's I'm just working get to it. Yeah, yeah. So guys, I'm working on uh yeah. It is it is a Valentine's gift for my boyfriend. It's not very Valentine's ish. Um mm. but it's a gift for him. 
And I want to specify, he did not ask for it. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't want it, but he definitely needs it, you know? I mean, I know what you're making because you told me a yeah. little bit earlier. So yes, he <laughs> does need it. I'm making an iPad sleeve and I'm crocheting it. And uh, I'm, I just got started, so um, <laughs> I'm not that far. And of course, I made it. I tried to make it in black so that it wasn't so too crafty for him. Yeah, imagine if you made this in purple and yellow. And yeah, or in that pink that you're wearing. Yes. But the thing Magenta. is that my boyfriend always just throw his iPad in his bag and I'm just like, oh, it's gonna break, it's gonna break. So he needs this gift and I'm making that for him. And um, I'm just actually, just continue because yeah. I'm, I'm reading the, uh, people are already writing down that, uh, you know, for instance, Lori says that she's crocheting red headbands for Ooh. grandsons. That's really, really sweet. And then we have somebody saying that they're making a sweater. Oh, that's so for nice. For their grandson. Really? Oh. Yeah, that's actually really, really nice. Yeah, so Gabriella actually commented on the stitch I'm using here. And it's just, I'm alternating um, single crochets and then the long, maybe we, some people call them like deep single crochets. So that you have, um, you know, a short one here. Oh, man. oh yeah, I see them. And They're like almost long. Yeah. Where is my finger? Oh my goodness, I don't know. On your hand. Here, <laughs> here's the long one. Here's the the short one, and then the long, and you know. Uh -huh. So it kind of has this really, I don't know, uh, weave. Is it? Could yeah, yeah. It almost, yeah, it almost looks like it's a it's weaving, weaving, woven, woven, <laughs> a woven. <laughs> yeah, you you guys know what we mean. And I'm using a ribbon for my iPad sleeve. And some which, really... which not to interrupt you, but no, you've no. always loved ribbon. I mean, we've been working together for almost two years now. Yeah. And every time Lena comes, oh, I'm making a new project, and I'm like, oh, what is it? Like, you know, hoping yeah. that you, oh, it's a, it's a basket and ribbon. Yeah. Oh, it's socks and ribbon, yeah. or not socks, but like you know, yeah. slippers. Yeah. And you're just using ribbon for a lot yeah. of stuff. Actually, I love it. I think, but I think it's because it goes quite fast uh, when you yeah, use because that. It's, yeah, yeah, it's quite and big. Um, you can make it quite like uh, firm. So you don't have yeah. like big, yeah. It's, have you have you nice. guys uh, tried ribbon? If you have tried ribbon, you know, just let us know what you think about it. And if you like Ooh, it and what is... you've done in it. Oh, I see March is making a toy hammock for my little nephew. Oh my God, that's... That's actually pretty uh, advanced. That's so cool. Let what? us know how you make it. <laughs> when it's done, send us a picture. Wow. <laughs> Oh, and knitting baby booties and pied cap for my six months oh, grandson. That's so That's cute. so sweet. Basket weaving, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Thank you, Laurie, for the help. <laughs> Volving. <laughs> Volving. But yeah, people are still tuning in from Denmark, oh. from Las Vegas. Oh, made a rug with ribbon. That's, that's such pretty a good cool. idea. J Hook Crochet is saying she made a rug with the ribbon. That's actually on my like wish list. How did that go? Was that the uh, is that did it turn out good? I'm curious I mean, because I would like to. to. Yeah, I'm sure. And did you use just yeah. one color or did you combine yeah. colors? Because I could definitely see like if you're making a basket, you know, using maybe one of these like super big, uh, not a basket, sorry, a, a rug, you know, Ooh. using <laughs> these chunky uh, hooks. Mm -hmm. I could definitely see like using three, four types, you know, and just combining yeah. and making your oh, own yeah, color. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, great idea, Gia. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Maybe... Should I? Should yes. I talk about what yes. I'm doing? Do we want to hear what Gia is doing this time? She's always being so creative. I am actually... So I'm going to show you guys what the final project is going to be. And then I'm going to tell you why I'm making this. But um, Surprise. It <laughs> socks. So, so knitted socks. I am knitting some socks for St. Valentine's. Hmm. Which is this particular pattern. What's that has called? a double ribbing. This is actually a pattern that is available on our website, you know, for free download. And it's called Knit Socks for Women. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> so it it's is easy to a remember. very vanilla type of making socks, you know, double rib here and then yeah, just stocking it. It's very, very simple. And I'm actually not using the yarn that they recommend. I am trying it in a different <laughs> yarn. You know how I'm always like a little You're bit rebel. rebellious. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm like, no, I won't use that. But actually, Happy Socks is, uh, you know, we have lots of different mm. colors. This is, I can't, I can't remember if it's color 21, but we have a lot of colors. And I've decided to use one of our latest yarns, which oh. is, I don't oh. know if you guys know this yarn. 
It's so it's beautiful. It's unicorn. And it is 75% wool and 25% polyamid. And it's just wow. to die for. It looks like, um, you know, sprinkles on a cake. I know. And it is hand dyed and it's just so soft wow. and I just love it. And I just wanted to make a pair of socks in this. Yeah. And actually our designers, and I'm going to show you this really quick. They asked me if uh, if I'm talking about, you know, unicorn, I yeah. should show them what it looks like if you knit socks. And they yeah. actually have upcoming socks in unicorn. Oh, so this is what the final product, it's you like know. like wearing a cake on your It's feet. so sweet. <laughs> I love it. Okay, but the story behind it. Yeah. Okay, just one second. I just see a question here that we should be answering. Ooh. Okay. Mm, so someone is uh, looking to buy Tunisian crochet hooks. Any suggestions? Um, I actually don't prefer, uh, like a specific one. Um, so I might not be the right person to ask for that, but we, I know we do have a few different ones. We um, actually have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. So if you actually go on our website and you know, and you search for Tunisian crochet, Tunisian, yeah, there's a lot of types that you mm. can like, you know, browse through mm. and there's even like, um, reviews and a lot of that so i definitely i i know that um at home i have the first one here this one yeah okay i liked working with those oh yeah. and you can also select the size yeah. that you want yeah. okay i yeah. see i see cool All cool right. cool and sorry to interrupt you it's okay <laughs> but actually you know what uh i will write that down i will just write tunisian yeah crochet needles so, and maybe we can create some content about it yeah it's you a know, great idea review them in the next live or you know but um but yeah i mean the story behind my socks yes let's so this hear. is it i started it here here so it you is. are making sprinkle cake socks for who well it is for saint valentine's yeah it's but not, it is it is not for my boyfriend <laughs> sorry i was about to ask you Sebastian is probably watching and he's probably like, what? I, I, I did not want I, that. <laughs> I did not order those socks. No, but um, it's actually somebody very special and close to my heart who ordered these for somebody also very special and close to my heart, which is my dad told me, I want to gift your mother something that's very sweet and it's homemade. So could you do something for her for St. Valentine's, you know? Oh my God. So I figured, wow, well, I cannot like... I had to do something, yeah, right? Of course. And then I figured a pair of socks would be really nice with a box of chocolates and That's some flowers. So and so here so it is. Actually, Gia's mom is going to get a present from her husband that is made by her daughter. I know. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever. Yeah. Oh, man. So here I am. I started this morning <laughs> and I didn't get very far away. But I see someone here who loved knitting socks. She has 54 pairs. <laughs> KB Fibers, you are so. So badass. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I never I never tried knitting socks because I don't know how to knit, but I it looks complicated, so I'm like in awe of that. That's pretty crazy actually. Yeah, like, that is a so lot of many socks. socks. <laughs> that actually almost I I, I I can relate to that. When I started knitting, I would only knit scarves. So most people in my family have received a scarf yeah. from me. And I think I've This is a like, nice gift too. So okay. many. Right? And it yeah. was so easy to make and, you know, I was just practicing my stitches and it was the best and easiest way to practice. Just mm. making scarves all over and over and over until I got kind of sick and I was like, I yeah, need to get no more. <laughs> so someone here is actually uh, Gabriella saying, sweet man, your father. I and I totally agree. That's the sweetest, most thoughtful gift ever. He has always been so sweet. And I've actually last year we didn't unite powers, but the year before we did unite powers and mm. we also like got my mom a lot of gifts together, um, you know, the two of us, because, you know, he doesn't really, he's not the, the most romantic type. Mm. So he just needed some help. So I told him, okay, give me your credit card and let's no. go shopping. <laughs> oh, someone is, so Jehook is saying that I should just try to crochet the socks. And you are so right. Yeah. I never, I never tried. But you should. But it's also because I have rather big feet. No, you don't. I actually do have really big feet. What do I, no, you don't. <laughs> I do. And if you do, I mean, you know, you are a tall girl, so. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's okay, right? Yeah. So um, I know you guys already um, wrote what you're working on. Is anyone 
working on a project that's like not for Valentine's Day or no, somebody says that they made a blanket for their sister, washed it, oh. and now, oh. oh, I'm so sorry. And mm. the, you know, you washed it, and then it it got all like hilly, hilly. Oh, that's like one of the worst things when you're finished, you know, with a project. Yeah, and it happened to me only once, um, or not really. Actually, not only once. It happened to me a lot of times, <laughs> but <laughs> one time where it actually traumatized me, I started knitting. I think it was my second or third sweater, mm -hmm. and it was a sweater made in moss stitch. You know, so. I a lot of times had to like look down. I couldn't, you know, just browse and just watch TV or whatever. Mm. And when I was done with it, I hated the color. <laughs> <laughs> and I chose the colors myself, right? And oh. I just hated it. I was, yeah. I hated the color and it got me so upset and furiated. Like, Aww. it's still there. I haven't finished the, the, um, the ribbing on the second sleeve, I just said to myself, you know what? This is just <laughs> going to be mind. frogged eventually, so I might as well not. Oh, man. However, I could gift it to somebody. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, somebody's saying that they're making a poncho for themselves. Wow. With a cookie. Mm. Speaking of cookies. Maybe stuff for my neighbor. It was due in February. Oh, yeah. Then that's actually like... pretty nice, you know, to, to, <sighs> to knit something thing. for your neighbors. I mean... So Mohammed is asking if we can say hello. Hello, Mohammed. Hello, Mohammed. Welcome. Aw. I'm knitting a dragon, dragon scarf. scarf. I don't a birthday even, birthday. I'm not sure I know what that is. What is that? A dragon scarf? Yeah, I don't know what that is either. And somebody, uh, Michelle, is saying that she's working on two projects for her daughters. Both of them are sweaters. Mm. I mean, who doesn't love a sweater? I've everyone does I always so have. i see that a flower one two three four is asking if we can explain how to crochet a continual granny square blanket without it twisting as you crochet i would actually love to do a video about that if you are interested in the future but i would like to you know make sure that i do it the right way before i try teaching anyone else anything yeah but I think that was a great idea. But you idea. could also ask. We have so many like talented colleagues here oh, yeah. oh, that yeah. we can just simply walk around the office and just ask somebody. Somebody's always going to yeah. have the answer. Yeah, definitely. Well, well, well. I actually, um, you know, before knitting this pair of, uh, of socks, I've always knitted on very thick needles. I've always... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, always knitted with, you know, socks that were quite chunky that I could wear like in my boots over already a pair this? of socks. It's just, it's fluff everywhere. Oh, I thought it was a spider. Actually, before Ooh. starting this live, <laughs> there was so much fluff because, uh, yeah, we were just looking at the yarns and moving things around. Can I around. borrow your pen? I just want to write this down with the this, uh, granny square. So I remember to nice. put it on the produce, produce list. Produce list. Granny. Um, but yeah, and we got so many fluffs in our eyes. Yeah, we were tearing up and we're yeah. like, no, our makeup is going to get ruined. Completely. <laughs> but yeah, let's see who else is saying what. Knitting leggings for my sister. Yeah, I saw that's so special. That's How do you do that? <laughs> do I actually, leggings? my friend Erica actually made a whole onesie for herself. Oh, really? And it, she said that it was quite, you know, complicated and not complicated, but... It took a while because you're knitting with such thin needles oh. and the thread is so small. It's probably like, what, three millimeters, 2.5 or something like that. Yeah, probably. And it just takes forever. <laughs> I could imagine. But leggings is a pretty cool idea. Yeah, it really is. A blanket as a wedding present wow. for her niece, says Nutmeg Wilson. It's such a good, um, like, uh, you know, a blanket is such a good idea because that's something you will keep forever. And yeah, uh, yeah it's just very special. Mm hmm. And somebody's saying that they printed the forest cardigan from Hobie. Ah, That's, uh, from our uh, Hobie friend Katerina, right? Yeah, I think so. Yes. That's a very, very cool. That's quite uh, new as well. Yeah, it's a. It's Ooh, I'm excited very to hear recent, uh, how cardigan. that is gonna go. What color are you gonna make it in? Because I know she mm -hmm. used winter glow as a um, mm -hmm. as a yarn, and she used a, a black and greenish. Um, I don't. I really don't. I'm sorry. I don't remember the colors. It's it's like dark when, mm. and it has kind of like green stripe yeah. and it almost looks like a forest. It's actually really beautiful. Oh, yeah. Crocheting blankets, hats, and a baby bit set. Hmm. 
That's okay, really nice. so th so uh, pumpkin seed is saying that she's knitting with size eight needles, so it's actually going pretty fast. That's nice. <laughs> Those are thick, yeah. thick leggings. Yeah. Actually, actually, that's my favorite uh, needle size. Not to uh, mention you, because it's kind of in between. You know, I like really chunky needles, mm -hmm. so I usually knit a lot with ten millimeters. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, most sweaters you find them in four millimeter or in six millimeter. Oh. So I'm always like in between. So I always pick eight because it just feels good in my hands too. I have like ah. kind of short and chubby hands, so it just it's just a perfect <laughs> size needle. Okay, guys, if you uh, I don't know, maybe someone uh, tuned in a little later. So I just wanna. Give a little welcome to all. <laughs> Hola. So, um, we are actually just here today to hang out and knit and crochet together and get ready for Valentine's Day if if you want to. Um, so, you can just sit back and relax and uh, work on your project if you have one. And um, I think we will uh, actually be moving on um, to uh, presenting or just talking about a few ideas mm -hmm. for Valentine's gifts. Yes or just gifts and please i do encourage everybody to just write in the chat yeah the more the better oh oh what we have to find a name oh my god i forgot about it yes oh yes 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 my goodness so we actually plan on you know doing these as often as we can yeah um these kind of live sessions right where we're yeah. just kind of sitting and knitting together and you know spending yeah. some time together and we're thinking, okay, we're knitting, we're crocheting, we're chatting, we're relaxing. Mm -hmm. what, should, what should we call this? Yeah, so we want to come <laughs> up with like a category name for this these kind of live videos where we're just like crocheting, knitting together. So mm -hmm. can you guys help us come up with a cool name? I know that Gia came up with the one <laughs> suggestion and I think it's a little nuts, but it's also quite funny. It's going to stick in the end unless you guys help us. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> and and the name of these live sessions, unless you help us, will be crow chatting and knit laxing. Oh my god! <laughs> so crow chat, crow chatting, crow chatting. So it's crow like chatting. crochet and chat. Exactly. And knit and relax. relax. Oh my god! Well, it is quite genius, but a little nuts. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> it's a, it's a little. It's ridiculous. absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. I thought about this after I had like five coffees, so this is, <laughs> nice. this is not good. So please help us out. It's an espresso idea. Oh boy, espresso shot idea. So guys, do, if you have any uh, suggestions, we would love to hear them. You can yes, think please. about it. Think about and, it. And uh, get back to us. Help us out. <laughs> yes. Save us. Yes, yes, yes. Well, but uh, let's talk about Valentine's ideas, gifts. You yeah. Know. I have a great idea for hobby session, Netflix Ooh. and chill. Oh yeah, Miguel. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think Miguel it's taken. taken. Netflix is taken. Believe me, we were really upset. Yeah. Okay, so Ed Edwina actually likes it. Oh, okay. oh grow chat and knit lax. Okay, Laurie oh, likes it. If if you guys Judy likes it. <laughs> oh my god! If everybody likes it, I'm telling you, maybe it's gonna stick. It's ridiculous, but maybe it's gonna <laughs> stick. Hopefully not. Why not? <laughs> maybe but someone the, else had like the the name. The name. The name. Just the final name. Okay. Hugo Stream says Mia. Mm, oh, yeah, that's actually idea. pretty smart. Hugo Stream. Hugo. Okay. Watch out! I'm gonna climb the chair. Can you can you help? No, I'm good. But eventually, uh, I'm gonna make you stand just so people see how tall you are. No, it's it's when she stands, no, no. it's like this, <laughs> <laughs> almost, yeah, maybe a little. Oh. Mm, somebody's saying tree beards home, saying that they love our our tinsel yarns. Oh yeah, so smooth and nice. And actually, actually, the. Um, the vest that Lena is wearing, it's called Tenna Vest, and it's actually made with tinsel. It is very comfortable. It is so soft. Tinsel in kid silk. It is the softest thing on it earth. Is. It is. And I do recommend checking it out. If you go on our website, hobby.com, and you look for vests, you have a lot of vests popping up. Yeah. But one of the recent pattern um, patterns that we released is the Tenna one, the yeah. one she's wearing. And like and I said, I, yeah. download it for free. Yeah, all of our patterns are for free, which is so lovely. I put a link actually in the description box for the vest. And oh. uh, I put links for everything that I was thinking we might mention. That's actually <laughs> so really nice. So if there's anything that uh, isn't in there, just uh, I will 
make a comment afterwards. That's beautiful. I want to share um, an idea that I have for a um, Valentine's gift for a guy. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be a boyfriend. If you don't have a it could be for your dad, it can be for your brother or whoever wants to wear mm -hmm. a tie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It is a knitted tie. Wow, and I have not... We d we forgot to uh, tie it. Do you, can, can you tie a tie? No. <gasps> yeah, you can. No, I'm just... And then I think you just flip it around. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yes. Wow. wow. You're wow. so great at tying the tie, Lena. I'm a tire. It's okay. Yeah. So it is a knitted tie. And I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. And it also has this little... Oh. Uh, what is... How, how oh, would it's kind of like a handkerchief. It's the oh, thing yeah, you can you put, put in your like in your pocket. pocket. Uh-huh. Yes. Wait, let me hide the <laughs> tag. We took this from the design department. So yeah. Oh, it would be kind of cool. Naughty chat, someone is saying. That's good. Naughty. Uh -huh. Oh my god. We have to write it down. How about chat cafe? Mm, that's mm. actually pretty nice too. I like I that. There is a fly here. Chat cafe. Good ideas. Mm -hmm. Let's Australia. see what else we have. We have here. Um, Yarn together. Yarn oh together. God, that yeah. Somebody's saying that tie. Yes, but it's so thing, gorgeous. It's a really nice type. And I mean, you know, it's made in rainbow. So you can just, we have 101 colors available right now. So you can just choose whatever color you like. Yeah, and it's made with a really beautiful moss stitch pattern, as you can see. I hope that you can see. Oh, I think so. It looks great. Oh, it, there and is a little fly here. There's, oh, is it a fly? Or it is, is it a, fluff? no, it is a fly. Get away. I almost ate it. Ugh. Oh, no. Uh, but I wanted to, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how extremely simple this is. Mm -hmm. You just, it's the same shape, you know, all the way through. So you just do, you do the same thing, right? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, we have a few different uh, knitted ties on our website. This one is called the Emil set. The ML set. ML. Emil set, I also linked for it. But we do have a few different ones on our website, okay. but I just thought that this was such a cute idea. Oh, I see it here. Yeah. Oh, and you can see it in the picture how it looks with an actual suit mm. on. I love it. I think it looks really, really, really nice. It does give something, you know, just a little bit different to, I mean, it's pretty to cool. a suit, right? It's pretty cool because it's yeah. very original and I mean, you don't see that every day. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. hi Kit, just subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, I, I got scared. <laughs> I mean, every time we clap, there's just fluff everywhere. Yeah. Do you notice that? Yeah, it got it in my nose. Oh, oh Mandy. Mandy, Mother Drum oh, just subscribed. Welcome. Thank you, Mother Drummer. Mother Drummer. Mother wow. Drummer. Do -dum, do -dum, Learn do -dum, together. Do -dum, do -dum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay, that's beautiful. Chat hook needle go. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I love it. I like that. <laughs> but should we also show different kind of, you know, gifts that you can make? For St. Valentine's. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you can do a lot of things for guys, right? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, if you, like I said earlier, if you go on our website and just check it out, you will see so much. And so you're going to get super inspired. There's a yeah. lot of things going on there, right? Yeah. But what about something for, you know, your girlfriend? Yeah, for a girl? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, a great idea for a girl could be a scrunchie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that could make... A lot of sense yeah. and something fast that you can make and also you can put it inside the small little box and with a little yeah, ribbon exactly and stuff. make it look really pretty and i know that we actually have both knitted and crocheted uh scrunchies on our website yeah do do okay. do okay a scrunchie so should i just type scrunchie yeah i know that there is the yukon scrunchie that i really like a mm. lot oh i see Ooh. Yeah. okay so we have crocheted two crocheted ones mm. And then we have knitted ones as well. Yeah. The Yukon one is my favorite. Is that because the model is so pretty? Yes. Or yes. The, what? Yeah, <laughs> the pattern for this is just gorgeous. Yeah. And I just love it. Um, and this one is made uh, by one of our designers. Mm. So it's just it's so beautiful. I just love it. It's really I love beautiful. It. But then there's also more simple ones, you know, um, that are made with Diablo. And yeah. Yeah. What about the crochet one? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's really, really cute, actually. I actually made that for myself in, like, really? a beige color. And I just used, yeah, 
Oh, it's rainbow glitter. Yeah, okay. I use just a uh, regular rainbow. So, and I mean, it's fine. If you know, it's easy to download our patterns. You basically just press the button, download, yeah. and then you have it. Yeah. All right. Okay. A scrunchy. That's a good idea. Scrunchy, scrunchy. But you can also make a hat. Yes, of course. You can make a hat for uh, your lover girl because also we made some really, really simple. Um, we made these super simple tutorials on how to make a hat that is completely customizable, both crocheted and both knitted. Yeah. Um, I think you linked it. I'm not very sure if you put the link. I don't to our... remember, but I, I can add it if I did. Yeah. So if you want to like check out the uh, you know how to yeah. knit an ad, uh, knit knit an ad knit an ad <laughs> knit an ad how to knit a hat or how oh, to crochet so a hat you can uh, just check yeah. it out on uh, on our YouTube channel. Yeah, absolutely. So we have some ideas here. I think Katya came with a really good one. You can make a crochet hard applique and sew or glue to a card. That's so sweet. Oh, That's really sweet. That's really cute. Yeah. Have you tried that before, Katya? Making hearts. And, ooh, bath poofs. What's that? What's a bath poof? I'm thinking that is those things that you wash yourself ooh, with. Ooh, yeah, that's a great idea. So it's basically like this wrinkly kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I actually think one of my friends made herself um, a glove. Well, not really a glove, just a square. She crocheted a square. And she uses it to like, you know, scrub, exfoliate when she uh, mm. takes baths. Good that idea. was pretty cool. Yeah. And a yeah. really good idea. Um, Natter and chatter. <laughs> Natter and chatter is good. Yeah, oh, I like Serena, that. I did not even see that Natter you suggested that. I love that. Natter and chatter. <laughs> oh, you guys are so good. That's really, really nice. By the way, if you see me like squeaking my eyes, it's because right before <laughs> I got to the office. I'm sorry, honey. My glasses broke. My side of my glasses uh, broke and I'm kind of like, I can't see what I'm reading. So I'm just like really like ah, yeah, trying my best to read the screen down there. Fingerless gloves is also a really good idea. And I think that we have lots of patterns like that. If you guys want to check it out, you know. If you want to see yeah. how to make them knitted and crocheted, I think. Yeah. And they're so easy to make those yeah. ones, right? Yeah. But what about something for, you know, both of us? Something for a whole couple. I know we have one pattern <laughs> that's very special. Speaking yeah. of gloves. Okay. And it's just the cutest. You have to see it because thing. this is very special, I think. I have not seen this. Is it called Mitten? Uh, oh, yeah, Ruben. <laughs> Ruben. This is very special and I absolutely love it. It is so, so particular. Yeah. Okay, so it's a uni glove for people yeah. able to hold hands. And it has this really pretty, like a uh, hard knitted mm. on them. And yeah, it's just, I think it's so original and it's so funny. So you can hold hands without you can getting hold hands. cold. Oh my right? God. It's Isn't the that cutest. romantic? It is. Because it is St. Valentine's, but yeah. it's in February and usually yeah. it's so cold. Mm. So it's just, it's such a nice gift, I think. <laughs> it is super cute, actually. I mean, I don't know if guys are going to be like, yes, honey, that's the perfect gift, but. Why not? I, I mean, would I would totally yeah. do it because a lot of times when I'm walking with Sebastian, uh, you know, and I want to mm. hold his hand, he's kind of like, honey, but it's kind of cold and, you know, let's. Yeah. So we always end up like using his pocket and yeah. then his pocket breaks from his jacket and then who's the one who has to sew it back? <laughs> May. It's you. So, yeah. So this is a pretty, uh, a pretty special pattern. So check it out if you want to see how it's made. It's really, really nice. So let's see what you guys are saying here. Crochet a little red riding hood for herself without Aww. a pattern. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty That's cool. That's impressive, Caitlin. Yeah, and speaking about, uh, you know, uh, red riding hoods and hoods in general, I think that baklavas are quite in fashion nowadays. Mm. So a lot of, like, you know, designers are designing baklavas. So I mm. can totally see that as something, like, really cool, you know, like a hood on. Yeah. I like. Mm -hmm. I like, I like. I like, I approve. <laughs> it's Gia approved. It's Gia approved. So, um, Send me the pattern. <laughs> I'm actually not uh, getting much done on my uh, project here yeah, because right? I'm I'm really having trouble, like Focusing. just generally. I, I'm really bad at uh, crocheting and talking at the same time. And I'm bad at knitting and talking. Yeah. How are you guys with that? Are you good at like multitasking when you're working on projects or are you like, don't talk, no, don't talk? Oh, yeah. Especially imagine when you're like, um, when you're counting. Yes, oh man. Well, that's a whole other story, I think. 
Sometimes oh. I sit in my couch, right, and I'm knitting and probably in the moment when I'm always counting, uh, my boyfriend's like, honey, do you want to like, let's, let's go buy some dinner. Mm. And I'm just there like 65, 66, 67, <laughs> 84, 93. And I'm like, no, I lost count again. And then I have to go back. So I'm actually using a lot of stitch markers when I started yeah. counting. So every 20 or 30 stitches, I'm usually putting a stitch marker so that I don't lose my trace. <laughs> But yeah, so I think that that's also why I'm not really knitting because imagine talking, reading, knitting, yeah, and coffee. Yeah, exactly. So what is here? Get together, yarn forever. That mm. sounds like a, like a, a song. That sounds Get like we could make together, a song. Yeah. Yarn forever. I like that. Get together, yarn forever. That's it. That's our intro song. Yeah. And uh, Lucy is uh, making halter tops and sweaters with rainbow, uh, which she likes. And she finished a bad wing sweater this morning with it. Oh, great, Lucy. Congratulations. Congratulations. I know the feeling of finishing yeah. it. It's like, you're mm. like, ha ah. ha. Absolutely. And Katya is actually asking if we're going to do this live again. We, we want to do this as often as we can, actually. So... Yeah, this kind of life, definitely. That's why we need a good name. Yep. Yeah, we need a good name so that it catches your eyes, ears. So that it catches your attention, basically. <laughs> so, uh, Teresa is saying uh, the counting thing must happen to all of us when somebody talks. So I think it's is a it, universal thing, Isn't right? that a meme already, you know? Like yeah. A knitters and crocheters meme. Don't talk yeah. to me when I'm... Ca or when you're dropping a stitch. Oh, my God. Did you just drop one? Yes. Oh man, how do you actually, like, I'm not a knitter, I want to learn how to knit, but um, I think the biggest problem I have is that I have, I don't know how, I can't identify the different stitches, mm -hmm. so when you drop a stitch there, you just, does it just disappear <laughs> no. into the project? I mean, it's, it's recoverable, everything is recoverable, you, you never have to frog things, mm -hmm. but... It does take a little bit of technique and you do have to, you know, know the 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 stitch you're making and mm. but I actually was thinking about making a video for our channel about how you can, you know, salvage the project if you drop the stitch. Yeah. It's a really because good idea. I remember when I started uh, you know, knitting and it was just Sorry, I'm um You're in the chat again? No, I'm just falling off the chair. Oh. So I remember when I started knitting and if I would drop a stitch, that was it. I had to frog mm. the entire thing. Mm. I didn't know that there was so many different ways of like, you know, how you can recover it. And so, yeah. So maybe it could be a good idea if it interests you guys. And if you want to see, you know, for those who don't know what to do if they drop a stitch, we could yeah. do that. I think it's a really, really, really good idea. Yeah. It's a good trick. There's a lot of tricks and tips. And and actually another thing that you and I are going to be doing very soon mm -hmm. in another live is that mm -hmm. Gia is going to teach me live how to knit. And um, I, have n I, I cannot knit. And I don't know anything about it. So um, if any of you guys are like in the same... Uh, situation as me yeah or um, if you're yeah basically like you because you're mm. a really skilled crocheter yeah but every time you try to knit you just gave up very fast yeah, yeah definitely so i wanted i want to like choose um a project like a scarf or a hat or something specific that is super easy mm -hmm. um but maybe you guys can help me um is there a specific project that you would like to learn as a beginner as a knit beginner not yeah. too big i guess yeah, I mean, whatever you guys would recommend, that would be really cool. But mm. I think that in general, you know, learning how to knit, the easiest thing you can do is a is a not a hat, sorry, a uh, scarf. Yeah, scarves are super easy and they're good to practice your, you know, your stitches, your, mm. your, your knit, I was going to say, knit. <laughs> your knit stitch and your pearl knit stitch. stitch. And it's a good way to, you know. Just practice all, all the all the patterns. Yeah. Like for instance, how to make a ribbing, how to you know you can do that in in different kind of um, scarves. Oh yes, scarves, scarves. But um, actually, you know what? For those of you tuning in a little bit later, I don't know who's tuning in later or not because we mm. we don't really see mm. it. But for those of you tuning in a little later, we are here just to knit and crochet and chat and relax find a name for our live 
And yeah, just get to know you guys and yeah, just have a good time, basically. Just spend some time together. Truly. And truly, get inspired truly. with the St. Valentine's ideas. And also, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's time to, you know, share a little bit like our stories of how we got started with uh, crocheting and knitting. and Oh, yeah. How that uh, kind of developed into a love, re love <laughs> relationship. relationship. Um, the biggest love of all. Oh, yeah. Because it is the biggest it's, love it's of all. It's addictive. It's bigger than, you know. Yeah. Not to be offensive to my boyfriend, but I love yarn more than I love anything in this world. Ooh, Sebastian's gonna be pissed. I hope not. I hope he's <laughs> not watching. He said he would watch, but I haven't seen him comment yet, so... He will come now. Oh no, <laughs> now he's just gonna come and like, you just wait when you get home. Oh man, well, I can I can start out by saying that, um, so I start, when I was a child, my grandmother really, really, really tried her best to teach me how to crochet Aww. and knit so I could decide mm -hmm. which one I wanted. And I wanted none. <laughs> I wanted to be outside <laughs> in uh, the, you know, doing something else. I did not have like the patience to sit down and learn which yeah. i totally regret now but that that's it right mm. and so when i was uh, a few years ago i think six or seven yeah maybe seven years ago um i needed to do a project for school and i wanted to do a lampshade that was crocheted and i was so stubborn so i just learned on youtube how to crochet like a round thing really <laughs> yeah so I got hooked right there. And for me, that was um, because it gave me so much confidence. It really made me feel really good that I could make something that was usable. And uh, so that's kind of where the story started for me. Do you remember what kind of yarn you used for your lamp? Oh, no. I just went <laughs> I went into a yarn store and I picked the one that I thought was the prettiest. Uh oh Yeah. Oh, no. Ooh. The usual happened, guys. Don't panic. We're still here. We're just going to switch our camera. Because we have this uh, issue with our camera always deactivating. Wow. So, so you need to make it smaller. Remember last time we didn't know? Really? Yeah. Yes. Aha. So this happened last time where our, our, our webcam was just like, I'm too tired. I'm tired of this. Yeah. But, I mean, you can still hear us pretty well, I'm sure. And you can still see as well, right? But yeah, right? continue. <laughs> so basically you found a yarn that you just mm -hmm. liked the most. Yeah, yeah. And I you just, just went, went for a yarn it? store and I, um, and I took that one and I uh, went home and, home and crocheted a big ball. Um, can you, did you, did you basically crochet it right from the first start? Yeah, yeah. It, it was, uh, um. It was not well done at all, but I it took it was like this like a really big lampshade. So yeah. I just I had to do it, and I got so hooked on being able to make something that uh, we can see you now, we can hear you good. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that it's uh, we are just we you know when we we had the same issue on our last live, mm. the webcam just stopped working, and yeah. we were like, oh no, and we oh, salvaged yeah. it as well as yeah. as well as we can, and hey, it happened again. I mean, I guess we just have to get a better camera yeah so we that will was, get there guys that was basically your first encounter with crochet yeah and and i think that um uh yeah for me it was at a time in my life where i just needed uh, to be in control of something i was very young and in school and everything was like oh what's gonna happen so for me it's just a sense of control and um creativity and mm -hmm. self-esteem i guess and I love, even though my grandmother did not teach me, I love how crocheting and knitting uh, connects um, generations. You know, I feel like oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it creates such a beautiful um, gap. It does create a bond. And speaking of bonds, you know, even nowadays, um, on Monday afternoons, when I get from work, when I get home from work, I actually uh, video chat with my grandma, who is in a different country at the mm. moment because of corona and all of that and we actually video chat and we you know work some um, recently she's been crocheting more than knitting mm. so she's just crocheting her little things and i'm just you know knitting my little thing and it's just a nice way to just spend time with her and it's a nice you know you have something to do so it's really it's it's nice 
Yeah. Like you said, it does connect generations. Yeah. And I think that's so special because not many things do, right? Mm-mm. And I feel that here as well at, at work that it doesn't matter how many years is kind of between you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's true. It doesn't matter, you know, the, the age gap and it doesn't doesn't matter what nationality you are and it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Mm. We we all understand each other and we all have this love for for fibers. Yeah. And it's just it's just <clears throat> wonderful. It's pretty much the same, you know, because that was your first encounter with yarn. In my yeah. case, in my case, it wasn't love at first sight. I learned how to crochet first and then I kind of, you know, got out of it and I wanted to learn how to knit because I saw my my aunt actually taught me how to knit Mm -hmm. and it was my grandma who taught me how to crochet. But my aunt taught me how to knit, which is my mom's sister. Um, I was visiting her in Copenhagen about 11 years ago Mm -hmm. and she was making this shawl. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and it was the weirdest thing on earth because she was not following a pattern. She was not, you know, she was just, she just had a yarn. I think it was just a random white acrylic yarn. Yeah. And she just had these huge needles and she was just doing her thing. She was just crocheting a triangle and mm. that was that. And I thought for me, it was more that experience and the way I saw her. You know, just sit in her armchair near her window mm. and she was just knitting and kind of zoning out. And I feel like back then I was about um, 18, 19. So it just felt so different from what I was experiencing every day, which was just let's do things. Let's go places. Let's party. Let's do this. Let's mm. do that. So I got really, really fascinated by the way she just slowed down. Yeah. She took a time to just slow down and just breathe and you know, gather her th- her thoughts and yeah. think about things. And I asked yeah. her, hey, can you teach me? And she did. And I knew how to knit. But then, two or two years ago, when I started working for Hobie, that's when I fell in love with her. Oh, yarn. yeah. But that's a, that's a whole other thing, right? Because we got uh, suddenly presented to all of these options and kind of got an education from our colleagues learning what yarn actually fits, yeah. uh, what projects. Yeah. And um yeah i agree that 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 really that really did something for me as well i mean i had no idea that there's you know i'm so sorry i have i have uh the fluff, fluff. the f- um <laughs> i got the fluff <laughs> we should just call his this this episode the fluff the fluff um yeah we did get very educated here at Hobie, if we can call it educated on you know which yarn fits which needle and hook, what to use for which project, yeah. and also just discovering the amounts of different kinds of yarns and yeah. fibers and the combination and all of that. It's just, it's 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 crazy. Mm. It's really, really crazy. It is. Let's see what people are writing here. I just, I don't want to miss any of you guys. I, I, I also don't want to miss any comments, but like I said earlier, like I can't focus if I'm no, knitting. It's, it's I'm very difficult. Um... Let's see, but yeah, ooh, hot, hot, of, hot uh, of the hook. <laughs> we were both reading that. Hot of the hook. Uh-huh. Oh, that's good. I really like that. Uh, yeah. So Miguel is saying that <laughs> I do okay at crochet, but knitting is just too hard for me. Well, welcome to the club, Miguel. Miguel, I will teach you. I promise to you, I will teach you how he, to knit. He's eventually. getting better. Um. Easter. So you. Oh, okay. So Maria started learned to crochet Easter 2019. Wow, that's like recent, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. And she has a friend who was patient enough to teach her. What? That's Whoa. a true loving friend because yeah. it it can really take some time. Yeah. You really need to be patient, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna prove you the love I have for you, Lena, when I'm Aww. gonna teach you how to knit. Well, thank you. And somebody's so much. actually uh, mentioning a new name. Uh, Caroling is saying knit one, chain two. Let's chat on. That's oh pretty my God. cool. So I'm almost crying because Laurie wrote the most beautiful comment ever. That she she wrote, "I feel my mom around me when I crochet. I see her hands and mine. Oh my God, <laughs> Laurie, that's so beautiful." That's really like, I get emotional very easy. I cry with happy things yeah. and I cry with sad things and I cry with everything. So I got slightly teary. But that's that's actually really good. Like, I, I feel that's a really good description of 
yeah you know how crafts can be handed down yeah right it's really beautiful thank you so much for sharing that laurie that was beautiful yeah and speaking of Michael, he's saying that I can teach him how to knit on stream. I mean, next time when we do the next stream where I'm going to be teaching you how to knit. Yeah. You guys can just learn. Absolutely. Get some yarn, nice get some uh, needles. Yeah. We can even like, be on like you know, before, uh, a few days before we start the live, um, tell you what, we, what kind of project we will be teaching on and yarn and stuff like that. Yeah, but I think that nonetheless, you know, something like this, of course, you can follow along doing a project, but you can also just find whatever, you know, yarn you have laying around and yeah. just a, ne uh, um, a needle that fits that yarn, right? Yeah, I was just thinking maybe there was a specific yarn or needles that was better for a beginner than others. There was more like if you had like the chunkier the better yeah right. i think that the chunkier the better because that's when you see results and that's when you see the stitches a little better yeah and it's just a little easier to work with thicker yarn in general uh just because it gives you that satisfaction of mm. oh i actually you know did this much because look at this guys this is taking me forever <laughs> yeah i mean this um this yarn is for 2.5 to 4 millimeter depending on mm. you know what you want to knit with and i'm using three millimeter i think yeah three millimeter and it's just taking forever <laughs> so nicoletta is saying that she started knitting when she was seven crocheting when she was 47 and now she got sheep oh oh my god what a great story oh and i see my friend erica just wrote something she says oh i love the whole process of combining yarn for a project and hobie has such beautiful options and oh, that's, that's really so sweet, true erica. that's really really true i mean combining just different yarns i love that and that's something mm. i've always done um i don't like just using i, I remember i had this um I did this kind of like a tube scarf for myself mm -hmm. out of scrap yarn. And by scrap yarn, I'm not meaning scrap yarn. But, you know, when you do a lot of projects and you buy too much skeins because in your head, oh, I'm never going to get enough. Like, oh, the pattern might say, you need uh, six skeins of this kit silk, right? And I will always buy seven or eight just to make sure I have enough. Yeah. And then I'm just left with one or two extra skeins. So I had a lot of <laughs> more like, fluff. Yes, I had a lot of these, you know, skeins just laying around and I figured, hey, I'm just going to, you know, make something. And then there was like baby merino yeah. and then there was kid silk and then there was some alpaca in there and I just did whatever and it was awesome. It, it turned out really awesome. I'm going to actually show you guys next time. I'm going to mm, bring yeah, it. I want you to bring that. that sounds it's so really cool. beautiful. I'm sorry. I was just so captured by Nicoletta, yeah. you know, because she was the woman who talked about the sheep and uh, Camilla asked her, where do you keep the sheep? And she said that she lives on a Greek island, a family oh. land, and had six lambs. Oh. That is the dream. <laughs> yes. It is the dream. Think oh, about it. Just down. being somewhere in nature, like having, I don't know, a cottage or something. Mm. And a lot of times I'm thinking the other day our colleague Kat came here and she was knitting a pair of socks. And she said to me, oh, I bought this yarn on the island of Skye in Scotland. Mm. And... You know, she talked about how, you know, this this island had this kind of like a tongue coming out in the sea and the ocean. Mm. And at the top of the of the, you know, of the route, there was yeah. just this tiny little store, you know, held by some some women or the, the family, yeah. you know, owned. And they were just, you know, making their own yarn and dyeing their own yarn. And it was just. I was like, I want to go there. Yeah, sounds like a paradise. It sounds like so beautiful and I definitely want to go there. Oh my God. She was like, that was the only place I wanted to see when I was in Scotland. So my mm. boyfriend, my husband had to take me there. And I was like, she knows. And he, she got a good boyfriend if she, if he <laughs> took her there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got the sweetest comment from Erica. I, I wanted to read it. Oh, I, I, where is it? Where is and it? Show so me with your, true. with your finger. Uh, you have a very special talent for combining yarns and colors. They are always such an inspiration. Thank you so much, Erica. And it's so true. You're it's actually always so really, nice. really good at that. Yeah. Thank you. I actually think that it's it's just because I like colors. Yeah. And I just like going out of my comfort zone. So I'm just. But like, you also do have a sense of understanding which colors go together. So. I think you're. Very it's a good. lot of luck, a lot of times. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't believe you. Okay, so Carolyn is saying that her nana taught her to knit when Aww. she was eight, and now she's fifty-one. Aww. She makes toys and reminds me of her. That's that such is a beautiful, so beautiful story. Story, <laughs> story Carolyn. Story. I love. Thank you for sharing that. It's exactly what we mentioned at the beginning of yeah. this uh, of this uh, talk. You know, it's well, not at the beginning, but midway. <laughs> Um, it just come, you know, it brings people together and it slows down time and it also preserves memories mm -hmm. and preserves, you know, the essence of yeah. somebody dear to you, especially yeah. the person who taught you, right? Yeah. So I need to teach you how to knit because you need to remember, remember me remember for you. the rest of your life. <laughs> so I see mom, she is here for the first time and watching from Las Vegas. Oh, so hello, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Yeah. Should we just sum up what we're talking yeah. about today for people who are just, you know, yeah, it's joining true. us right now? Yeah. So, we're just knitting, crocheting, chatting, yeah, exactly. getting to know hanging each other, out. hanging out, basically. Getting a little ready for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So, we are both working on some projects. I'm yeah. making an iPad sleeve for my boyfriend. And I'm, <laughs> How is that going? Uh, it's. Uh, <laughs> I haven't I've been working on it very much because I'm not good at multitasking, <laughs> but I'm... Com it's a by the way it's a free pattern on a website i linked it in the description mm. um and so it's gonna be an ipad sleeve once i get going on it <laughs> i made it in ribbon yeah and uh, gia is working on i'm making uh, the knit socks for women also available on our website this I'm just is gonna just... say sorry bye Teresa. thank you for watching <laughs> yeah thanks for watching Teresa. join us next time fun yarn chatter <laughs> Happy Friday. <laughs> yeah, so you were saying. This is the socks I'm making, but I'm making using unicorn. So I changed the yarn from the pattern. I'm using unicorn, which is just a hand dyed, beautiful yarn that we sell and I love. So yeah, I'm just doing that. I just got started. It's for my mom from my dad. Yeah, it's so special. That whole so, thing, um, that whole situation there, very I romantic. Hope, I think she's watching, but I'm hoping that she couldn't watch tonight because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I just I just oh, took no. a risk. I knew that this is going to happen and I took a risk, but yeah. hopefully she's not watching. Although I want her to watch. But <laughs> what if she says that, that she did watch, but she really did yeah, watch and then you can bust her? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you did no. not. <laughs> Oh, um, let me see here. We have some great comments. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, Anna made her first sweater in elementary school. <gasps> wow. You are so cool. So you were like, what, 12, 13, 14? Oh my God. Sixth, seventh grade? Oh my God, that's amazing. I dropped the stitch. That's not amazing. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah, and mom, she likes the iPad sleeve. I actually really like the iPad sleeve too. Actually, I can show you. I have a plan for it. I'm not going to finish while we uh, speak. But I was thinking that I wanted it to look kind of cool and a little professional so that I could make the boyfriend use it. I want to add um, like a, this. Uh, it's leather. It's like a, f like f a leather clamp thing to close it mm -hmm. with a little gold thing mm -hmm. and then I wanted to add some uh, handmade oh those are like leather tags, tags in the ah. end so that, that that it will have those um, leather details to make it look a little more you know luxurious <laughs> luxurious I don't know <laughs> a little bit like you put some effort into exactly. it exactly makes sense yeah but you know what I actually wanted to also talk about because, you know, I mentioned Unicorn now, and Unicorn yeah. is a very new yarn for us. Mm -hmm. And I actually wanted to talk a little bit about, not not a lot, but just a little bit about the new yarns we have. Mm. Because we have been in love, and I mean, we are in love with two new yarns that have recently, you know, mm. got on our website. Yeah. We recently yeah. got them, basically. Yeah, and I think that, so, it's, it's basically, I mean, I'm going to mention my yarn crust right now, mm -hmm. and it is rather new and i guess yours are too because the new yarn just oh. do you guys ever get like yarn crushes yeah. um you know you just see a yarn and you just have to have it it's it's because mm. it happens to me very often when i see a yarn i do not know what project i'm gonna yeah. make with it mm. but i need to have it so it must mm. be in my yarn stash 
and then I'm just going home with more yarn and Sebastian is just looking at me like there's no more space honey and I'm like there's always space for yarn but you also you put it in your car yes I do I, I've seen your car you put it in there, right? I actually have. So my trunk, the trunk of my car, I promise you, I will take a photo and show you. Mm. The the trunk of my car, when you open it, I have two Ikea plastic transparent boxes, like mm. big ones. Mm. And it's just filled with, it's stashed <laughs> with yarn. Oh, and it's man. yarn that I cannot take upstairs because mm. then there's that's, that's more yarn to bring up. And he's going to be like, it's going to have to go somewhere. Put it yeah, in, put yeah. it in the cellar or somewhere, but just... Stop bringing yarn upstairs. So, yeah, I keep it in my car. Well, why not? Why I not? Mean, if it works. We got a really sweet comment from th uh, Three Birds Home. Thank you both for the Ooh. upbeat live. It's been a rough day and you both have brought us back. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy that we could, uh, you know. Brighten somebody's yes. day. I'm sorry if you had a bad day. Yeah, at really I sucks. wish you a really good uh, weekend, though. Yeah. Just look at it like that. The weekend yeah. has begun. You can breathe a little easy. Yeah, exactly. Just make yourself a hot cup of cocoa. Oh, that yes. always that always fixes the problem for me. Okay, but uh, can you tell me uh, what yarn are you crushing on right now? I'm crushing hard, mm. baby. Really hard on. I don't know if I should show the yarn on the website or if I should show the yarn... Show it Live. here. Should I show it if here? If you have it here, show it here. I actually do. Do you need to find it? Um, should I? Ah, there we go. I prepared a little baggie. A baggie? Oi, oi, oi. <gasps> yes. Oh, you know fluffy. which yarn I like. The fluff is everywhere. Okay. Uh, now we have a problem because I'm crushing on the same yarn. So we are right also. <laughs> what? You can't crush on this yarn. You have to crush on a different yarn. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. My crush at the moment is this, this little man here. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to come up close, but this little man is called Tweed Delight. Mm. Yummy, Ha-ha. Yummy, yummy. Look at me. And it's basically a beautiful 85% wool, 10% acrylic, 5% viscose. Mm. So it's basically slightly shiny and it has the cutest speckles. I don't know. I know it that really the camera is, is not really the best. And I'm sorry, guys, that our good webcam died. <laughs> but it was just tired, I think. I mean, we do talk a lot, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Look uh, at this. This rose color. It's to die for. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Oh, I'm really bad at showing it on this. But the speckles, I am crushing so hard. And this is my favorite. It's pink. And it has lots of so different beautiful. colors. I love this yarn. You have no idea. Like the moment I saw it, I needed to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So I bought a I, lot of I it. I saw it, you know, obviously a long time before it even got out when they were working on yeah, it. Yeah, when they were working <gasps> on it. Mm, so beautiful. And there's like lots of different <laughs> colors. There's my, blue. My boyfriend. Aww. Hi, honey. <laughs> I see you're here. Oh, that's so Thank sweet. You. <laughs> But yeah, so this is basically the yarn I'm crushing right now. Tweed yeah. Delight. There's much more colors mm. available, but I just took these uh, out of our stash. Um, and actually, the designers have just worked on a really beautiful Ooh, yeah, neck. yeah, that's right. That I wanted to show you guys. It's this little thing here. Oh. The pattern is going to be available soon enough. And speaking of somebody who said that they really like red, this is what it looks like with like a darker kind of pink to it. Mm. Look at this. This is so pretty. <laughs> it's so pretty. I just, I love it so much and it's so soft. So this is basically a little neck. It's something that you knit in order to have like maybe over your shirt or something yeah, it's and really then just cool. like pull your coat yeah, over it, yeah. right? It's kind of like instead of a scarf and it's just easier to use, I'm going to put it on because why not? Wow. I'm just like, I'm super pink now. It really fits your <laughs> sweater. Nobody is pinker than I am. Oop. Just going to take this out. It's basically like a neck. And you know, you can see it like wow. this. Wow. Doo -doo -doo. It's really nice. Yeah, and the pattern is very, very, like, very modern, simple. Right? And yeah, it's so mm -hmm. it's super fashionable to do these now. Yeah. And I feel like this yarn is perfect for one of them. 
imagine it's, adding a little bit of kitzel to this or oh know. yeah oh yeah oh i think that um so essen is just uh coming in here asking what the name of the yarn is it's called tweed delight delight i'm yes. actually going to show it on the website just so you guys see it yeah and i Let's also go. added a link in the description box so that you mm -hmm. could go straight to it right tweed delight mm. there it is there what I really like about it is that it's um, introducing lots of colors, actually, but it's not like in your face. Yeah, they're it's, actually, it's actually quite, quite soft, yeah, subtle colors. Subtle, exactly. I really love it. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah, I like a lot. I like it. I like it. There's this black with really beautiful mm. green and red speckles. And then, oop, I think I just have to click it like that. Obviously, my favorite mm. is this pink, actually. So yeah, it's a it's soft, beautiful. quite, it's a soft pink. And it just, yeah. I love those little kind of, yeah. I don't know, it's just, is the perfect. And the mm. one I showed you the pattern in is this one. So it's a, a bit of a stronger pink, but it's mm. so cool. It's like a cool pink, you know? Yeah. It's like the pink you want to have. <laughs> So um, while you are actually in here, can you search for Diablo Wild Print, which yes. is my big crush? Okay, Diablo Wild Print. Yes. Ah, it's yes. Rather new. Yes, 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 yes. And you might already know our Diablo yarn, which is such a great um, alternative to... I'm just looking at the patterns available. Okay, sorry. Yes, it's okay. The Diablo Print. Mm. I'm just going to show. Maybe you can you can say a little bit. You're on the website. It's just to get the specs. Yeah. So it's basically 40% acrylic, 30% mohair, and 30% polymer. But it Can is so this? soft. Let me just go back on the on the actual chat so we can see it up close. <gasps> I love. So beautiful. I actually also have a skin here. I just don't have a label on it. And not that it's because I'm working on anything. It's so pretty though. Can you guys even see? I can't see anything. So yeah, it's so 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 beautiful. I really like this pattern a lot. It's this this top actually is yeah. a new sweater that we're gonna have coming mm -hmm. up. Um, it's a beautiful sweater with this gorgeous top here. It's actually really nice. I love Diablo um Diablo um um yarns because you know they're great um replacement for kid silk exactly. and they're what half the price yeah exactly of kid silk and then you get this super fluffy yarn and it's just it's it's an awesome yarn i really 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 love it yeah and it's funny that you like the diablo print so much yeah right because i'm not so um, you're not very very like inclined no. towards colors i know no. i'm changing your mind yeah and you started slowly to like like I'm getting other colors better. The other colors but yeah. yeah okay i see but yeah i really love this one i think it's just so um yeah oh, people are so saying beautiful. that they love it yeah. oh and jacinda or jacinda says jaya i love that in the u.s we call that a dicky oh <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> have you guys uh tried our diablo uh, yarns before because if you tried it, you know, there's so many variations. Oh, yeah. We have the Diablo Glitter and then we have the Diablo Multi, which is five threads mm -hmm. of Diablo all together. Um, kind of the same yeah. color patterns, uh, uh, palette. Mm -hmm. uh, so if it's red, it's like it's a different kind of red. Yeah. And if it's green, yeah. it's different kind of greens. And now we have this beautiful wild print. Wild print. Mm. That's really it. nice. I love it so much. It's like I can and if stare you... at it forever and still find new interesting things about it. Well, it's funny because soon you're, you you will be able to use it because you're going to learn how to knit. That's true. That's great. That's true. That's great, great, great. Should we need a little more? And actually, guys, I have a question for you. Um, if you did try Diablo before, so if you have tried this uh, this um, um, yarn before, did you knit something uh, in particular with it? You want to share mm. what you knitted with it? Maybe you made a shawl, maybe you made a sweater, maybe... Mm. I want to know what you guys did. I think there is a question here, Gia. When will that sweater pattern be available, please? Well, Dear Creations by Jax, this sweater pattern is going to be called oh. Aria. It's going to be out soon. Mm. Maybe this spring, I'm thinking. I don't really know. Yeah. Um, I'm not even sure if we're allowed to show it. I actually don't know. I just stole it from the sign because I, 
I love the... I, I wanted love... to show you guys how um, the wild print would look when it was knitted up. But it's a, it's a slight, slightly longer uh, sweater. Mm. And of course, you can make it shorter if you want. Yeah. But um, I actually don't know. I'm hoping soon. Yeah. I'm hoping as soon as possible. Same with the neck that I showed earlier. It's going to be available eventually uh, soon. Right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because they're done, and I think that they're mm. making different color variations yeah. now. So, so boom, so, boom, 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 boom. Sorry, where do? Boop, 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 boop. Okay, uh, people are saying they're making a scarf with Diablo wild print. Ooh, love it, except for the static. I mean, sometimes things get static, right? Yeah. Even with stuff like kit silk yeah. and whatever, I always get static with everything. Remember sometimes yes. when we used to sit next to each other yes. and we were just like accidentally Shh. touching it like oh what the chemistry yes always fireworks mm. yeah oh somebody's saying that their boyfriend and them they're playing dungeon and dragons and he loves the dragon ed dice bags so he, that might be a good saint valentine's mm. day present for fantasy fans go for it actually um, I have a friend that plays Dungeons and Dragons all the time. I don't know, even really, know what it is. <laughs> I tried playing it once, but I think that it's a game that you really have to like, you know, play a lot to get in the mood. And it's usually like really long uh, uh, gameplay. So it takes mm. hours to get one finished. It's with cards and with like an adventure. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. What else do we have here? That awesome sweater. Yeah, it is an awesome sweater. Yeah, it and really I, is. The thing is that that purple is a very soft kind of purple yeah. and it has this green kind of tint to it. I'm wondering what kind of color it is. I'm just going to go back yeah. on the website just to check the Diablo. I'm wondering if it's this. No, this. No, it's a little lighter than that. <gasps> Wait. That's so beautiful. I love this. Mm. I love this. I think it's number one. Oh my God, it's, it's on sale. It's number one. What? What? It's on sale. <laughs> oh yeah, it's on sale. 33. Oh like no, I have to go buy <laughs> Stop buying more oh. yarn. But uh, yeah, it is on sale wow. now. So you can save 33% right now if you mm. get it. Um, yeah, here you can see our actually, other Actually, the Multi Diablo. is on sale too. It's $8. The Dia the regular Diablo yeah. is also on sale. Wow. So yeah, Diablo Plin, Diablo Multi, Diablo and Diablo Glitter. And obviously the Wild Print. Yeah. So that's actually pretty cool. Speaking of new yarns, the Diablo Print is also a new yarn. Mm. Uh, it's a color changing yarn and... It is so bada -bim, bada -boom. gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. That it with, you know, with a nice uh, yeah. wool to it. Yeah. Actually, I think we have some samples. Don't we have some samples lying around uh, that is made up from uh, Diablo print? I know I brought some in, but I have to go check in the back. So read the chat. I'll be right back. I'm on chat duty. Or what, what was it called? What should we call it? Natter and chatter? Chatter and natter. Naughty chat. <laughs> that might be more accurate. Okay, guys, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. That was the game I didn't know. Oh, mm. I found. I'm back. Kitchen towel. I yeah. found some swatches. Oh, sorry. I need to show you. <sighs> I'm going to go fast through them because, or not fast, but yeah, we could easily spend ages because I have all the colors. I have swatches Hobie in all the colors. Hobie Cafe. Good idea. <gasps> Hobie Cafe, that's actually cool. Yeah, it is. Welcome to Hobie Cafe. Oh, then we would, we would uh, need like cookies and stuff for us. <laughs> we never say no to cookies. No, 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 no. But um, there you go. This is the Diablo print. So it's basically a color changing yarn. This is one color. Really beautiful. I love the pink one Hobie a lot. Hobie Happy Hour. Yes. <laughs> Then, yes. we, then we need a cocktail. Oh, yeah. Then it will be, uh, yeah. Then oh. we have a purple uh, color changing <laughs> variation here. And yeah, there's just so many. You need to show that one at least. <sighs> oh, I love this one. So Imagine beautiful. a sweater for, you know, like your daughter or your grandson or, or your granddaughter. Or me. In this. Or you. <laughs> well, you're not the biggest, <laughs> craziest fan, but I could totally pull this off, I think. I could too. I mean, it's, it's so weird, but I love that one. That combination right there is, it, oh. I guess scarf in it would be really wow. nice, right? Yeah, really beautiful. Maybe our designers can make one. Yeah, 
Camilla is suggesting Hugo with her B. Hugo with her B. Spot on. Who doesn't love a Hugo? Yeah. I love this one too. Really beautiful. So this one has a bit of like a peach color in mm -hmm. it and then a yellow and then kind of like a strawberry color and then a salmon color. <laughs> it's really, really beautiful. Imagine this also like for a summer, yeah. you know, a summer shawl or... It's really beautiful I like actually. So guys, I think we're gonna be wrapping up soon. Do you have any like uh, last minute questions or something? that uh, you would like to ask us then um oh wait before that somebody's yeah. saying that they crocheted a hat with regular diablo combined with dream color and it turned beautiful oh that's a really good idea well good natalia idea, natalia. you're yeah. gonna have to show us a picture yeah actually um you can upload um Ooh, you can actually a lot of yeah. fluff, huh? <laughs> sorry it's because of the whole the things i put here but you can actually upload Ooh. pictures of oh. your projects on our website it's like a game avoiding the fluff sorry do you hear what i'm telling you which is pretty <laughs> cool so so yeah so you can actually um you know create a small little account on our website on my hobby mm, yeah come up and uh, upload all you know the projects that you've done in your in our yarns mm. or um patterns that you followed or you finished with yeah, yeah, with. yeah 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 definitely and it's really cool because a lot of people then can get inspired with the the stuff you've made yeah so i actually can just you know give you a quick tour how you can see that so for instance down here you see we have photo gallery this one doesn't have any pictures yet because it's, new. it's a new right. yarn right yeah. but if we go for instance on rainbow, rainbow. <laughs> who doesn't love a rainbow oh so um if you go on, you know, we have photo. Look at that, 1,100. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that are just posting projects that they made themselves. And yeah. it's just, it's really made nice to yarn, see right? it made in yeah. that yarn precisely. So that you can see how the colors turn out. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really, that's a really great. And it gives us an opportunity as well to get inspired from you. Yeah. Which is really nice. And I actually love it. I sometimes just go in the galleries and I just check what other, people's ma other people make. Mm. Because a lot of times if I like a yarn, like yeah. I said to you, I love a yarn. So I'm going to buy the yarn first and then I'm going to be like, okay, well, what am I going to do with it? Yeah. You know? And then I just look at what people make and I'm like, okay, I could do this or okay, I could do that. So it's, it's really, really nice. It really is. It's a great idea. Aww. Okay, guys. Somebody's saying I want to oh. I wanna see the... Oh. It got deleted that message. Yeah. Thank you, moderators, for moderating and re replying the you know the messages that we're missing. It's really really nice. That we're getting a little bit of help from yeah. our colleagues. Yeah. Um. So shout out to our moderators. Good job, Much guys. Love. Thank you. So it's been a very very uh, here you go with hobby and then hobby cafe. We got a good a lot of good num uh, not numbers. Sorry, <laughs> a lot of good uh, um, yeah. names. And I see that you note them down. I so that's really them. good um somebody saying where are the freebies well this time we didn't make a giveaway but you know we're just here to have a little bit of good fun and yeah just chat a little bit yeah and maybe next time we'll have a giveaway maybe the following time yeah so yeah oh oh people are saying that thank you ladies i enjoyed this time together thank you so much we really actually loved uh, just sitting here and actually slowing down a yeah. little bit um i think especially um for me like after christmas and new year's and everything and yeah let's just take a breather and i mean yeah honestly after last year <laughs> the whole last year it's just nice to sit down and take a breath and Spend some time saying with you that guys. it was great to see you girls. Looking forward for another Hugo next yeah. time. We're Thanks. also looking for. Hopefully, maybe by that time I will finish this sock. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I was and supposed to knit. Sleeve. And your iPad sleeve <laughs> is like one, just one line. I'm gonna go at it tonight. Oh, thank you, Hamusa, for saying love in it. Oh, we loved it too. You are too kind, sir. And remember next time, you know, if you don't have a, a project uh, started on a project, start mm. on a project and let's knit and, and uh, crochet together. That's, you know, that's what we want to do yeah. eventually, right? Yeah. So, um, um, dun, 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 dun. Mm. next stream, My what, is cold. when is the next stream? Um, I'm thinking in two weeks yes. from now. Not, not next Friday, but the next Friday after that. Okay, so I think that we were talking about doing it every two weeks from yeah. now for the time being. 
Yeah. Maybe like, you know, if it turns out nice, we can do it every yeah. week, but we don't know for now. No. Now it's every two weeks-ish, right? Yeah, exactly. So we're planning for it in two weeks. Um, and I think that might be the, maybe that could be the um, knitting where you teach me to knit. Yes. <laughs> I think that's a good idea yeah. to pull that up, right? Because we've seen a lot of people who want to do yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So why not? And I and I need to learn now. You need to. <laughs> yeah, I really do. So thank you so much, everybody. This was such a blast. And um, I hope that you enjoyed it as much. Oh, somebody's saying, can, can you, you teach me you, how to knit a ribbon? That's your boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's into mm. cars and he absolutely wants me to knit him something that he can hang in his car yeah. and i actually haven't got around to it because i want to crochet him like a bee or something mm. i don't know but yes seb i will teach you how to knit a race car when i get home yes yeah, so you're too good <laughs> oh and my mom is also saying bye well thank you everybody i think we should leave now because it's very hard actually to go so we just have to like yeah pull the Pull the plug. Yeah. It is kind of hard to go. I just keep wanting yeah, to like yeah. read all the comments. And hopefully next time I will have my glasses so I can be like a little uh, bit like less. I will crochet you a new uh, the thing that broke. We do it in a Tell really. It's going to be like a spaghetti. It's going to no, be like a boiled no, no, spaghetti. We, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in ribbon like I do everything oh. else. And I'm just going to do it really <laughs> tightly. Okay. You know what? Just a sec. Just give me a Bye, mom. Hmm. <laughs> And oh, and my boyfriend is asking for socks now. God damn it, Gia. <laughs> See, I'm not lying. I promise yeah. you, my glasses actually did break. Yeah. So I could have done this like this. Actually, you could have not seen it. I could have just. Oh, yeah. Well, it does a little bit like that, <laughs> but I could have done oh, this man. from the beginning. But yeah, guys, we're going to pull the plug. We're going to go now. It's going to be a blast. Hopefully next time we'll stay a little bit longer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just have more time to actually sit down and crochet in mm. it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll see you, you guys uh, in next week. We're going to pull the plug. We love you. We want to talk soon. But uh, yeah, until then, that's all for me. Jaya from 